When you think of Southeast Falls Creek, what comes to mind? For our team, before starting this project, we thought of the Olympics, breweries, condos, and the seawall. But there's so much more. Southeast Falls Creek is a neighborhood where all Vancouverites can call home. Direct planning initiatives have ensured that non-market housing has been included in the neighborhood since the approval of the policy statement in 1999. Our presentation will explore community formation from the perspectives of people whose voices have been systematically excluded from engagement. These maps provide context for where Southeast Falls Creek is within the city of Vancouver and identifies the non-market housing in Southeast Falls Creek. Our work was based on these objectives, with an emphasis of creating and implementing an equitable engagement process. To meet our project objectives, our team had to rethink how traditional engagement is done. This led us to develop our inclusive engagement process. Step one, the process begins by exploring what questions need to be asked and what is important to learn through the process. Step two, focuses on engaging with all community members regardless of age, gender, race, tenure, and accessibility to create appropriate engagement methods. Step three analyzes the themes that emerged in step two. This is where we will expand on what was heard and put data into formats that will be used for wider community engagement. Step four refines information gathered from initial stakeholder engagement and delivers information to a wider audience for broader feedback. Step five, action can take many forms. It can change how city processes are done or it can respond directly to a need the community has identified. It is important to consider what resources are available to avoid false promises and remain realistic. This process also continuously reflects back to keep stakeholders informed and to seek feedback throughout the project. We have applied this model for engagement and we acknowledge that in reality, there are additional influences that direct the flow of the process. Now moving on to our engagement. First, to guide our work, we assembled an advisory committee from residents in Southeast Falls Creek. The committee helped us understand the community and critique the process we created. Next, we held interviews with individuals working on the front lines in temporary modular housing and supportive housing. We gained insights into the opportunities and challenges that housing providers and residents face in their buildings and with the broader community. Through these interviews, we were also able to identify a location for our pilot study. Our pilot study was conducted at the semi-supportive housing First Place Residence. In collaboration with housing staff, we served pancakes and provided honoraria to residents who spoke to us about their experience living in Southeast Falls Creek. When engaging with residents, we identified how long they have been living in Southeast Falls Creek and whether they feel a sense of community in the neighborhood. We also explored where residents were spending time in the neighborhood of Southeast Falls Creek and throughout the city of Vancouver. In Southeast Falls Creek, a majority of participants spent their time in their building and at retail stores in Olympic Village Square. In the city of Vancouver, participants spent most of their time in the downtown east side. To access the things that they need, such as groceries, participants are going to retail stores in Southeast Falls Creek, but often have to leave the neighborhood for more affordable options. We also asked participants how they would describe the Southeast Falls Creek neighborhood. Participants responded with feelings of high regard for the natural setting and location. However, some participants felt that the neighborhood was fake or that their building felt stigmatized. In gathering information from our advisory committee, key informants, and first place residents, we have been able to identify lessons learned about conducting inclusive engagement and about Southeast Falls Creek community. Inclusive engagement requires time and coordination to develop the relationships within the community. We also reflected on the importance of finding a common human language. Planners should ensure that there is enough capacity and resources to provide each participant with the space to be listened to. The Southeast Falls Creek community spoke for themselves on the issues that were important to their lives in Southeast Falls Creek and in the city. 
The participants express interest in collaborating in events that allow for clear dialogue and benefit to their community. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our presentation. The work we have presented to you is important to advance the equity and public processes.